What man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Matthew chapter 7 verse 9 The illustration of prayer that our Lord used here is one of a good child who is asking for something good. We talk about prayer as if God hears us regardless of what our relationship is to Him. See Matthew chapter 5 verse 45. Never say that it is not God's will to give you what you ask. Do not faint and give up, but find out the reason you have not received. Increase the intensity of your search and examine the evidence. Is your relationship right with your spouse, your children, and your fellow students? Are you a good child? in those relationships? Do you have to say to the Lord, I have been irritable and cross, but I still want spiritual blessings? You cannot receive and will have to do without them until you have the attitude of a good child. We mistake defiance for devotion, arguing with God instead of surrendering. We refuse to look at the evidence that clearly indicates where we are wrong. Have I been asking God to give me money for something I want? while refusing to pay someone what I owe him? Have I been asking God for liberty while I'm withholding it from someone who belongs to me? Have I refused to forgive someone and have I been unkind to that person? Have I been living as God's child among my relatives and friends. See Matthew chapter 7 verse 12. I am a child of God. Only by being born again and as his child, I am good only as I walk in the light. First John chapter 1 verse 7. For most of us, prayer simply becomes some trivial religious expression, a matter of mystical and emotional fellowship with God. We are all good at producing spiritual foe that blinds our sight. But if we will search out and examine the evidence, we will see very clearly what is wrong. A friendship, unpaid debt, or an improper attitude. There is no use praying unless we are living as children of God. Then Jesus says, regarding his children, Everyone who asks receives. Matthew chapter 7 verse 8